Welcome to Report readers and viewers to another edition of the insanely wildly popular internet TV show soon to be picked up possibly by CBS, NBC, or Fox. So I've heard. So he's heard. <laughs> See, we're, we're a buzz in that Buccaneer locker room. It's probably not very true. Uh, the buzz is probably stay away from that guy. Don't do a show. But anyway, we're, uh, we're aiming for a million hits on the show, Justin. All right, let's go. I mean, my goal is two million coming in, so a million should be easy. Two million, I like that. This is an emerging star receiver on this football team, Justin Watson. Now, we talked about him being smart because he went to an Ivy League school, much like myself. Did you know I went to Ivy League school? I did not. That's not true. <laughs> I, uh, we had some ivy growing at HCC in Plant City, but yeah, no, it's not technically an Ivy League school. Okay, I mean, that's kind of like camp school, you know? There's some ivy there, but, you know, liberal arts school, not, not quite like Penn. Like Penn, Penn yeah. Penn. Now, Penn is located in New Jersey? Wait, no. Penn would be in Missouri. Close. Close. Where, where Sound it out. Sound it out. Penn, Penn, Penn. Oh, Georgia. There it is. Got Close. It. Pennsylvania. Atlanta. Oh, yeah, of course. Pennsylvania. <laughs> now, you guys are Quakers there. Quakers, yep. So what is it like being a Quaker? Like, I mean, do you guys, can you guys, like, only eat, like, cereal and horse and buggies? What's it like? Yeah, so recruiting, that's something that you deal with. Uh, you know, people want to be the Lions or the Tigers, you know. So right. Quakers isn't something that sticks out. But, you know, I embraced it. You know, Quakers, uh, you know, were fierce people in a way. You know, they were bold. Um, they weren't, you mean, you know, escaping Justin. religious persecution. Justin. So it takes a chance. No one equates Quakers and fierce. I am, you know. You tried to break your sister's leg one time. Tell us that story. <laughs> All right. So her leg was... Did end up breaking. Wait, wait, wait. Who was in the room? So it was my sister and I were the only two in the room. The only two in the room. Her leg ended up breaking. You broke her leg. So that's that's not the case. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. This, there's ahead. only one. Eye, well, there's only one eyewitness there that could recount the situation because my sister wait, was so young. Wait, no, she could recount it. She she was there unless you, you, she got knocked unconscious or something. I think it was the pain. It was almost so much that. Uh, what she, were you guys doing? So or what we were, was she doing? We were upstairs. We were jumping on my parents' bed, um, and she like bounced on her knees in a certain funny way. Um, and then I knew something was wrong because she started looking like she was trying to scream, but no noise was coming out. Oh no! So and she just like crawled to, into the pillows, and so I knew something was wrong. So I ran downstairs um, and got my parents. And the, the thing that came back on me that was the day before my birthday. So oh. then the day of my birthday, oh. you know, it was. You know, it, was, it was my sister's show, it was Abby's show, so another, another middle child forgotten birthday for me. You guys, uh, you were pretty popular in high school, I hear. Uh, if you hear that, sure. No, I, you know how popular you were, Justin? You were so popular in high school that your group of friends had went by your own no. name. <laughs> you were known at your high school as... You want me to say it or do you want to say it? I'll say it, man. What were you guys known as? I made a group friend. We were called the crew. The crew. The crew. The crew. He, Justin even, he even spoke about him in third person, right? Hey, Mom, the, the crew's coming over for dinner tonight. Or the crew is going bowling. Not my buddies, not my friends, not me and my friends. It was the crew. Now, I'm not going to say that you guys thought you were really, really cool, but I also heard you guys had T-shirts made up. Is that true? Yeah, I was really hoping that they forgot about, yeah, one of, uh, I think it was Christmas one year, someone's mom got us like hoodies that say crew on the front, you know, like you'd see. Um, you mean like this? Just like, just like, I feel like this might be the exact this one. This might be the one. What's a great place to go grab some food in Bridgeville? <sighs> Don't say like Carabas or a chain. It's no, got to be no, something no. local there. Um, this is a big shout out for someone in Bridgeville. Yeah, we you should know, give you a free meal out of this. Yeah, I know. Okay, pretty good spot give you some good I mean so if you're gonna be in in the Bridgeville area I'd say you still got to go to Primanti's now that's that's a Pittsburgh local favorite Primanti's is they, it in Pittsburgh or is it in Bridgeville or is Bridgeville so they close? have locations okay um, all over the place all so right there's one right down the street from us in Bridgeville Bridgeville's only one square mile so if you're looking for a restaurant in Bridgeville you're pretty limited but Probably just outside kid. yeah you hot could, dog yep and a polar pop yeah um 
Okay, one square mile. Wow, I thought I was from a small town. All right, so we're going to go there. What am, what are we going to order? What do you recommend on the menu there? You know, uh, do they do any seafood? Like a no. uh, any kind of scampi or pasta or anything? No seafood. Then, so that's it's all Italian. Though, that's right? the uh, the classic Pittsburgh sandwich where you see oh. you know, thick Italian bread, yeah, cheesesteak, coleslaw, French fries. A heart attack in a sandwich. sandwich. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, you know, most people go with the uh, the classic cheesesteak. Um, you know, I like the one. There's one that they make that has capicola on it. Mm. So if you're, you know, that one might be a little bit better. The traditional ones, that you know, the, the classic. So cheese it's thing. more of a sandwich shop. That I, I don't know. I just assume with the name that it was an Italian restaurant. I was wrong. It's Italian, but yeah, it's Italian sandwich, sandwich, sandwich shop. shop. Do they do peanut butter and jelly? For you, man, maybe you, you wear that shirt in there. I just walked in, be like, yo, I'm with the crew, and I would like a PB and J. They're like, yes, sir, Mr. Cook. Whatever you need, Mr. Watson. That would be like the Godfather. They'll bring a table out of the back. Guys are playing violin. <laughs> Three people that you're going to spend two hours with at Ford's Garage, eating a nice plate of pulled pork nachos and some margaritas. Who are you, Justin Watson, going to have dinner with? Don't For, say your sister. No, nah, no, my Can't sister. Can't be a bit like. No, nah, she'll hear about it later. Because uh, my whoever I bring, my sister's going to try to you know date, go out with. So you know, like sisters, sisters not invited. Abby, I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, but Poor Abby. First one, uh, Da Vinci is uh, is up there for me. Done a little bit of research on him. Interesting guy. I forgot this is a smart guy. So you said uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Maybe him too. <laughs> that would be good too, Leonardo. What were the odds of having two Leonardos at one table? I wonder if that's ever happened in the history of the world. <laughs> All right, so we're going with Da Vinci. Are we going to break some sort of codes? What are we doing? What are we going to talk to him about? My pen doesn't work. That's we got bad props. Okay, I will remember it. I'll remember it. Okay. Yes, you will. I won't. Okay. So we so, got Da Vinci's coming. Yeah, Da Vinci's coming. Why well, um, him? You know, I feel like he, you know, from a money making perspective, you know, he invented so many things before all this technology. So, what ideas is he going to give me now in the two hours that we have dinner that I can go take with me? You know? Did he patent anything? Was there even patents back then? Or you just invented stuff and got famous and that was it? I, and then I people can steal your ideas. I don't even think you really got famous. I think you really? invented things. People said, hey, there's no real use for this. And then you die. And then everyone says, then wow, this guy was really smart. 300 years later, they're like, man, this guy was a genius. All right. All right. So we got Da Vinci next. Go Da Vinci. Um, kind of on the same line. We'll go Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, sees, see what ideas he has coming back. Also, I'd love to show my iPhone. I think he'd be pretty disappointed with uh, with the new Taking models. Shots. So, you know, that's something. Um, you know, honestly, I might bring my pops. My dad's a great dinner conversation. You know, I'm a guy, like you said, a little shy. I want to get the ball rolling with the conversation. So my your dad? Okay. Dad's got a, my dad's got a ton of great jokes, so. Doug. Doug. Doug jokes, telling you every fireside pig, you know, going to introduce uh, your family to your girlfriend's family. So he's really funny. That's your guy. He's very funny. So the exact opposite of you. Justin Watson, wide receiver for your Tampa Bay Buccaneers, also punt returner, and overall great guy. And of course, the leader of the world famous crew. <laughs>